Okay, so this video is for all of my ugly sisters out there. Now, before you scroll and get offended, I'm not calling you ugly. Think of any group or set of sisters that you know. You always know which one you think is the prettiest. And a lot of times, a lot of people share the same opinion. I know this because I am the ugly sister. I do not think I'm ugly. I don't think that I'm unattractive. In fact, I'm very confident in the way I look. But my sister is stunning. She is perfection. And anyone that says differently, I will vote. When you have a sister that most people just genuinely find more attractive, you kind of live in the shadows a little bit. I'm saying this because maybe you feel like you're the ugly sister. And I am going to give you some advice from one ugly sister to another. I'm always wondering why sisters don't seem closer than they are. Like me and my sister are literally as close as any two human beings can be. She is my person, my best friend. Like I absolutely love and adore my husband, obviously, but my sister is my soulmate. This is a known fact. We spend almost every day together. We have one day set aside a week that is our sleepover night. We never miss it. We watch our shows, we hang out, we talk. And she spends the night at my house because I have a guest room. It's actually, it's her room, let's be honest. Like, it's her room. So she has a room in my house. We have what I would consider like the perfect sisterly relationship. I'm doing my heatless rope curl, so just chill with me while I do this. The secret to this is not having jealousy towards one another. Like so many sisters, especially if you have the dynamic of feeling like one is way prettier than the other or one's more popular than the other, like things can get a little bit sticky, especially like in your teenage years and then there's just like that rift there. As a teenager and stuff, I was a little bit more self-conscious and we did go through a rough patch because I was going through my awkward stage and she's older than me, so it's just like, you know, it's a thing. But I quickly got past it. I'm a very confident person. And I realized that her being gorgeous did not take away from my looks. It didn't take away from my gifts and abilities and my personality. For instance, I am very smart. I'm not saying my sister isn't. Like the things I name about myself, I'm not gonna say that my sister isn't those things because obviously she is. If you watch her TikTok, you know this. But I'm very funny. I'm very outgoing, very creative. It's like even with uh, my sister, like she'll get me to help her write scripts for her TikTok, play piano, I can sing, I can paint. Like I'm very artsy. I probably have the edge on her in some of those categories. Like she can paint and things like that too. But even she'll tell you like, I probably have a little bit of an edge. And guess what? That is okay. It is okay if someone is better at something than you or stands out more than you in a way, it doesn't take away from who you are. Me and my sister, what has gave us the relationship we have is we are both very confident in who we are. We are each other's biggest cheerleaders in anything that we do. Like if I have anything that happens in my life, the smallest thing, like I'm a dog groomer for instance, I get a new client and she's the person I call to tell. And she's always like, sis, that's so amazing. She hits a new goal on TikTok and she's sending me a screenshot of it. And I'm just like, sis, that's awesome, go you. That is the secret to having a good relationship because you can either let someone else's good qualities and attribute, attributes be a threat to you and make you feel inferior, or you can be their cheerleader. And in being their cheerleader, you grow a relationship where they can also be yours. So I could have spent my life being bitter because I thought she was so much prettier than me. And I thought other people thought that. And I could have absolutely missed out on the best relationship in my life. Or I could do what I did and choose to see the good in myself and celebrate the good that she has. Just my advice. Comparison is the thief of joy and the ruiner of relationships. So celebrate the women in your life. Celebrate yourself. And my sister is probably going to comment on here and act like I'm just full of crap for saying she's the 
you know, the pretty one or whatever, or that I'm the ugly sister, but I'm the smart one, so we can't pay any attention to what she says. So you are smart, you are funny, you are creative, you are beautiful, and there's always going to be someone who is more of those things than you are, and a lot of times, it's going to be your sister, but you also probably have an edge on her in some way, and it's easy to lose sight of that and to make it a competition, so... If you don't have a great relationship with your sister because of silly little comparisons, this is your sign to reach out, to let it go, be confident in who you are, celebrate who they are, and just enjoy each other because it is the most wonderful relationship a girl can have, honestly. So, I love you, sis. Mwah.